In this video, you can learn how to perform Levine's test using SPSS. Levine's test is used to assess the homogeneity of variances across different groups. It tests the null hypothesis that the variances in different groups are equal. This is crucial when performing ANOVA as one of its assumptions is that variances across groups should be equal. These are the assumptions for Levine's test. Independence, that means the observation should be independent within and across groups. Normality, while Levine's test is robust to deviations from normality, it assumes that the data within each group are approximately normally distributed. Scale level, the dependent variable should be at the interval or ratio level. You can watch my normality testing video to get an idea about how to perform normality test using SPSS. I will attach that video link into description box. So this is our data set. So in here we have two variable teaching method and test score. So we have three teaching method, method A, method B and method C. Let's build research question according to our data set. So this is our research question. Is there a difference in the variance of student test scores across different teaching methods? Now we can build our hypothesis according to our research question. So our null hypothesis is the variance of test score across the three teaching methods are equal. So our alternative hypothesis is at least one of the teaching method has a variance in test score that differs from the others. In here, I put one for teaching method A and two for teaching method B and three for teaching method C. Now let's do the analysis. Go to analyze, click compare means and one way ANOVA and put our test marks into dependent list and teaching method into factor box and click option tick homogeneity and variance test click continue and click ok here's our output results let's interpret the results so here we got 0 0.162 as our significant value so our significant value is greater than the commonly used alpha level of 0 0.05. Therefore, you fail to reject the null hypothesis of Levine's test. Since the p-value is greater than 0 0.05, you can conclude that the variance across the different groups are statistically equal. This suggests that you can proceed with further analysis as uh, ANOVA assuming that the assumption of equal variances is valid. 